I never really grew up wanting to be a doctor. When I finished high school, I thought, hey, I'll go to, uh, I'll go and do law. But, you know, I think I was just going through the motions of being at university. <laughs> it's probably one of the darkest periods of my life. Among other things, it was a, just a sign that I needed to rethink my life, which is exactly what I did. I decided to study medicine because I thought that if I could just make a difference in just one person's life. 31st of January 2010, I was involved in the car crash. When I realized that I'd had a spinal cord injury and you know, I was paralyzed suddenly, you know, my entire life changed. I believe that anyone can follow their dream. You know, that, that's just a given. Like, well, why, why should you let anything stop you? The only barriers that you see are in your own head. So I don't see any barriers to me becoming a doctor, and that's just what I did. And I don't see any barriers to creating a cure for spinal cord injury. We just need to do it. I'm doing some really exciting things at Griffith University, and one of the projects that we are doing is looking at brain-controlled rehabilitation for spinal cord injury. We're creating a brain-controlled rehabilitation paradigm where you can control a bike with your brain. My single piece of advice would be to find what you're passionate about. If you're living your passion, it will not feel like work and you will find the greatest of great successes. Just find that passion and go for it. Hey, Wilfred, how are you? Good to see you today. Okay. Oh, a bit of a run in with the truck, hey? In the busiest emergency department in the country, but he isn't your average doctor. Eight years ago, Dinesh's car aquaplaned and rolled multiple times. Be curious. Be experimental. Be relentless. Push boundaries. Be courageous. Be remarkable.